What's up? What's up? <laughs> I don't know the fuck I'm doing that pose for. Those, we all know what that is. A bit of barracuda. But anyway, uh, I am here to open up some toys. Basically, in one of the vlogs that you would have seen, the one where me and Connor went and saw Multiverse of Madness and a bunch of other shit uh, during the day, we got to check out Collector World and Toys Are Go? Toys Are... Yeah, Toys Are Go? I think that's right. My brain is... Completely not working. Probably this helps, you know, not help it not work. But I thought when I was at Collector World down at Port Adelaide, I grabbed this awesome little gremlin figure. Uh, look, I know nothing about this brand. I think so far just from looking at the box, the box is kind of cool. But uh, I can tell that it kind of feels like a cheap toy. Uh, I paid $25 for this. Um, I really wanted to give those guys some business and this was something that sort of stood out to me for for $25 This seems like a cool toy and being uh, You know, he had a skateboard. I thought it's perfect I'm up at my mate's house where we skate and everything and so I figured because we've got ramps in the backyard I figured this would be the toy to sort of bring up here, but I also have another toy uh, that I'll talk about later Anyway, just pop look this just pops right up on the side even though I just kind of ripped it a little bit classic me Probably throw this box out, and I normally don't, but... Oh, it's got a cool, like, backdrop that you can actually take out of there and you can sit the figure on. So, oh, it just slides out. It's, like, possibly one of the easiest things to open ever. I even slid the receipt into it. Um, yeah, it's pretty... You know, for boxing's sake, that's pretty good and easy. So, if you wanted to keep something or rebox it, that's fucking sweet. But for me, let's just yeet that over there. All right, we've got the pretty standard double plastic. <sighs> Sorry about the burping. Let's see if I can... I don't know. Yeah, look, so it's just a straight out. Get that. Gone. All right. Wow, this is super easy. They give you a little sticker of the toy company, the BST AXN. Best Axon. I don't know what the hell that's meant to stand for, but yeah. I think anything these days that's a $25, you know, that has articulation and a chainsaw is probably worth buying. Uh, we've also got, he just comes straight out with Stripe from Gremlins, obviously. Oh, they've got their logo on there. Um, the wheels on the skateboard, they do move. Yeah. Uh, he, have a look here. He stands on the skateboard. Okay, so I, oh fuck. Let's see if I can do this a bit better. So he does stand on the skateboard. Um, yeah, he stands on there. His articulation is pretty good. Actually, it's really good. Wow, maybe I'm liking this more than I thought. I just wish that the, the eyes are kind of terrible. They're kind of not exactly straight, so he's kind of like looking left and right. Head swivels nearly impossible but the arm movement and that is fantastic i was a bit annoyed with how easy it was to see all the the moving joints but now that i'm mucking around with it it's actually a really movable figure um if you're looking for something i guess like my kind of idea for this guy was to have him hiding in like a christmas tree or something so yeah he stands on the skateboard now he's got interchangeable hands, which scares me because the pins on these are so little. It's like tiny ass. And knowing me, I'd break it really quick. So I wonder if I can, I don't really get the changeable hands considering he can hold the chainsaw with these hands already, I think. Hang on, how do you hold a chainsaw these days? <laughs> Oh dear. The hands any different to... No, the, the hands... The interchangeable hands are exactly the same as the hands that are already on the figure. So they're pretty fucking pointless. That is really weird. They're exactly the same hands. There's no difference. Like, they don't grip different. They don't hold different. Nothing at all. Maybe it's just because that, like, if that's the little joints that are in here, these would be weak as hell. Let's see if I can get him to hold that. Yeah, look at that. 
Ha <laughs> Fucking take that comic thoughts. Yeah, so he's, that's pretty cool. Like, I mean, for $25 to have a chainsaw and a skateboard and the backdrop, that is pretty cool for that price range. Um, yeah, the paint for the eyes could be a bit better. The double up hands thing's really weird, and I've never ever seen this brand before, I must admit. So, I don't know. I, I might have to buy another one of their toys to see how I feel. I mean, the chainsaw's not exactly straight, it's a little bit bent. But, you know, for 25 bucks, the skateboard wheels will you know, just move. Not that that's important, but whatever. It's just, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like low quality, but then with really great articulation and. Not even that low quality. If I can get him to stand up on... Yeah, that's sick. So he stands up on the skateboard with the chainsaw. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, for what it is, $25 uh, at Collector World here in Adelaide, Port, at Port Adelaide. Uh, it's a pretty cool figure, you know? I wouldn't... I wouldn't run, I would like say this is something I needed, but I bought it because it had a skateboard and uh, yeah, I wanted to support them and it's something that kind of stood out that I'd never ever seen before. So he'll sit here uh, with some other random skateboard toys we have. We have this sort of random collection of toys going on up here at my friend's house and it's got like Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, there's Darth Maul, uh, then there's like a random Batgirl, there's a bunch of tech decks. Um, then there's, yeah, I guess he's standing on the tech deck, Leatherface, guess what, surprise, with a chainsaw, like, yeah, it's just a very weird little thing of toys just sitting up here. But the interchangeable hands is the strange thing, having a double up of hands is very weird, um, I don't really get the point of that. But, anyway, moving on, so, oh, uh, Toys I Go, I bought a spawn figure, but I don't want to open that up, it was Bad Rock, I believe it was. Um, so I figured, you know, I recently bought some toys and there's one that I wanted for a long time that I never ever kept. I kept selling it through Nerds Paradise and other things. Um, and I, I just thought, you know what, it's time to get myself one of these Cosmic Ghost Riders and keep this one for myself. Uh, it looks sick. It's really cool. Sorry if the lighting isn't as good as it should be. I'm just trying my best with the minimal lighting I've got at the moment as I don't have my normal setup. This has been, this is pre-loved, so the best thing about it is it should be fairly easy to open and set up. Also very fitting that it's up here at my friend's house at the moment just because this is where I do all my motorbike stuff. So, or a lot of my motorbike stuff. Uh, once again, this is the kind of figure where the box will probably stay for now, but eventually I will probably throw out the box. Okay, the dogs just ran out in absolute panic. That was very random. Alright, let's see. So I don't know how this has got a fair bit of fair bit of things and parts and stuff. So oh dear. I'm not good with parts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so there's the base of the bike. Alright, base of the bike, let's go ahead and sit that there. Uh, okay, this electric goo. That's a technical term, don't ever get that wrong. Oh, oh, there's two lots of electrical goo. Now I'm heaps confused, I thought they just sat in there. But maybe it doesn't. Or maybe it does. How am I meant to know? Oh, I know how it goes. Or do I? Oh, man. Do I know? <gasps> Could I be right? They sit in like this. Yes, they do. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. I like that already. I'm seeing bolts and kicks and stands, and I'm getting a little bit worried that I'm in over my head. Okay, so that one definitely goes there. Oh yeah, I don't know how this works now. Come on, there's Sam Toy 101. There you go, buddy. Oh my good goodness. Yes, yeah, so there's a, a pin randomly in the middle. This should all connect. 
does it care? Oh, I've got my headphones caught. Uh, yeah, that'll, oh. It should all connect, but it's me, so. Hey, oh. Stay. Okay, that is. Okay, so there is a stand in here. Oh, I'll no, fucking break it. So that stand clicks in the bottom. That makes that way more easier to muck around with. I should probably, I'll bring the camera down a little bit. Um, it's just, oh, we'll go like this, maybe. Get him out of the way. Go on for chew. All right, let's see if I can fix this. Sorry if the room looks a bit dirty and that we're actually doing some soundproofing and things and yeah, so the bike sits on that stand. The trick is this bit. So this has got to go, they go in like that. And this guy goes through a hole there. All right, and clips into this. All right, that's clipped in. Now this should just clip on, but I feel like it's just not wanting to. I mean, did that time. All right, exhaust system goes on this side. Should know this stuff, it's pretty cool. It goes on. Oh, because the other exhaust system's already on the other side. <laughs> that one there's already clipped in because I'm a smart person. Who let me do anything ever? All right, we've got some clip on handlebars, which is how handlebars should be. Oh, can I set this in? Crap. That one's in. I feel like that wheel's about to go flying off again. Okay, got it on. Whew. Now, try and get that light to focus on that a little bit. So yeah, okay, it's very cool. All right, he's got two guns, obviously, and he's got a whip, flame whip, flamity whip. And the guns have fire. And the whip is obviously on fire, or the chain. The guns look badass, futuristic. And he looks like, ah, oh, come on. Like a total badass. Look at that, just so cool. You probably all would have seen this in many, many shops and things. So you know what you're looking at. Marvel Legends, Cosmic Ghost Rider, it's sick. So his hands, uh, look, so he can ride the Oh, how's it? There's a skull. There's a head on it. Oh, you can. Ah, oh, okay. You can take it off so you can face him a particular way. The flame, I guess, can be removed off his head if you want to. But no. Okay. Put this back on. All right. I want him to put the guns in the holsters that are on the side here. How the fuck do I do that? <laughs> Who ever said mean toys are good? They just clip in? Where the fuck's it? Is there any imagery here? Oh, of course, he's holding it and shooting it rather than it being in its holster. Okay, there's one in its holster. It doesn't look anything like the way that... They had it just slid in. Now I'm heaps confused. Oh, look, that one does. That one goes in. That looks sick. Or maybe they're different guns. Because they are. So they have particular holsters. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now I know what's up. So the cannon fire, I guess doesn't matter because I was going to get him to hold his whip. Because then I want him to whip and nay nay. Watch him whip, whip. Watch him nay nay. Get him to hold on to the handle of the bike. Maybe not. Fuck, I feel like this is the kind of toy that I'm gonna set up and never take off. Because this is way too difficult. I was gonna put it back in the box, but fuck. All right, I've got one hand on. But I want the other hand to hold the whip. I think. This way. These shoulder pads are fucking ridiculous. 
Uh, so he's got his guns in his holsters. Oh, his, that foot's not even on the back of it. And there we go. Let's try and get this. Where do I want this to be? How would he hold it? Uh, that's kind of cool, I think. Ah, let's have a look here. Let's see if I can. So, yeah. That's pretty sick. Pretty cool. Maybe I'll try and take some better photos. But yeah, very awesome. Anyway, that's my really terrible unboxing. There's these cool gun things, but obviously I'm not going to bother. I might try and sit them on the exhaust. It looks like the exhaust is backfiring. Exhaust. Uh, anyway, that's the Marvel Legends Cosmic Ghost Rider and the whatever called uh, Gremlins. Hope you enjoyed this terrible video. Peace out.